My name is Joseph Lucia. I'm here to talk on a topic titled Multimedia Teaching Method and Literacy. On the abstract, Multimedia teaching method and literacy is an effective teaching tool that complements traditional approaches to learning, especially in subjects that are abstract and theoretical. Yes, but multimedia makes the teaching easy. It is very easy using multimedia and it makes it easy for the student to learn and to capture, it captures students' interest and it arose their interest. And students can obtain new learning experience with better understanding of the concepts, and thereby it enhances their performance during the assessment. Now the introduction. What is this multimedia? Multimedia teaching method and tech and literacy application is a creative presentation of the combination of the media. And when I say media, I mean the sound, the audio, the video, the animation, and the recording. All of them are together in multimedia. And this can be delivered via electronic and digital manipulated means. So in order to create good multimedia projects, teachers need to be creative and technical. Now, when I say traditional education, when I say traditional education, I'm talking about the conventional means of disseminating information. When I say conventional means of disseminating information, is the one that is established the custom that is found in school. And it is teacher-centered. The teacher just come to the class, lecture the students or the puppies, the children, no matter the age, it's just like lecture method. They believe that the children, they don't know anything, that the teacher just comes in and give them all the information they need. And after giving them the information, any question, and the children answer no questions because they don't really understand what the teacher is talking about. That is traditional means of disseminating information. And it, is, it focuses on root learning and memorization. Whatever thing the teacher needs to teach them, the, the puppies, they memorize. The students memorize. And they are passive. They are passive absorbers of information and they obey authority. Whatever the teacher asks them to do, that is what they do. Even if their parents correct them, no, my mommy say, my daddy say, my teacher said, that is what you always hear them say. And they are less passive in the class. No problem solving skill. And it is linear and factual accumulation and skill mastery. And this can be absorbed by lecture and Textbook. It's only in textbook that the children can get whatever information and whatever the teacher tells them and the intelligent one will go home into their textbook and learn. And whatever that is not in their textbook, they are not familiar with it. Yes. Now, therefore, students are less passionate and they are unmotivated to learn. They are not even ready to learn. So far, their teacher will teach them all that they need to, to learn. And that is now when I come to the issue of multimedia approaches. Yes. Multimedia approaches is vital to our life. Very important. When we look at the world that we live in now, 
is technological inclined environment. Everywhere is multimedia. And because of this, it, the multimedia is packed with various elements. And that is what makes it very interesting. And this element, when I say element, I'm talking about the audio, the video, the graphic, the animation, and a lot of it. Those are the things that enhance education. And in this method, all that is needed can be seen in the environment. So it changes the way of learning itself. That is multimedia. And there are a lot of advantages that are with this multimedia. And what are these advantages? It allows students to represent information on their own. And how would they do this? By using various different media. If they like, they use audio. If they like, they use video. If they like, they use Google. They go to the internet, sort out information to make learning interesting. And it's not compulsory that the children must learn in the classroom. They, are, they have the opportunity to learn wherever and whenever they want to learn. There's no limit to time, no time limit. If they feel like learning in the middle of the night, they can do it. And this multimedia allows them to rehearse the previous topic. can go back to the video and watch the previous topic on and on and on again. Then this enables them to master the subject matter and they are ready to even be more creative they can even give their teachers opinions idea that will make the topic more interesting now this one uh, increase their thinking skill so it's made their thinking skill to be higher than the previous now in conclusion multimedia have a lot of advantage when we're talking of the advantage of multimedia, it makes learning interesting. And with the help of its element, when you're watching video of the subject matter, the children were able to follow step by step the procedure and the strategy that is used. And learning become easier. They understand the topic and the step by step of the topic. And it involves creativity in both teacher and students. By searching information from the internet, the teacher learn more and the students learn more. And thereby, they come up with different information that they got from the internet. Then they come together and create another topic for the real topic. So this makes the topic to be interesting and educative. So this is a must. When I say it is a must, multimedia teaching method literacy is a must. Why? Because we need to keep our pace with the involvement of the technology in the country that we find ourselves. The only disadvantage that we have to multimedia is only available in the developing world developing country and that is a problem of data wifi and electricity and without electricity multimedia will not be able to function but it is a must to upgrade ourselves so that we'll be able to meet up with the pace of the involvement of the technology that is going on around us thank you